Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and happy new years to you all. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah. Now let's get into tutorial number eight. It's back to the basics without you now. I'm trying not so the topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is how to create hyperlapses in After Effects. There are many ways to create hyperlapses. You can do it through videos or photos. But the best way to do it is through photos. So today I'm going to show you how to create a hyperlapse with photos in After Effects. But the first thing to do to create a hyperlapse is inside the camera. So first up, you need to find a landmark. It could be a mountain, a building, whatever it is. As long as you have a place to put the camera for a point of interest to stay the whole time, that's what you need. Then after that, you're gonna be taking a photo and one little step forward, normally like a foot, and then a photo again, a photo again, step forward, step forward, photo. You repeat that step as many times as you can because the more photos you have, the longer the hyperlapse will be and that's what you need. Then after that, you go into After Effects with all your photos to stitch them together to create the hyperlapse. First, you gotta get it all done in camera for it to work. If not, it's not gonna be able to work in After Effects when you create it. So now let's get into After Effects so I can show you how to create this hyperlapse. Okay, so now that we're in After Effects, let's import the photos for the hyperlapse. So I'm gonna use these photos that I took of a waterfall in Iceland. And I'm gonna select all the photos in that folder. And then the next step after that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that create composition is checked off. And then as well, the box underneath the camera raw sequence is checked off as well. And then press open. And then after that, you're gonna see this little window pop up and this is where you're gonna do your basic color corrections of that one photo. And after you do that basic color correction, it's gonna apply that correction to every single photo that you import it. So then press OK and you're going to see this clip pop up. All the photos are inside that clip um, being stitched together. So now let me let this render out real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay so now that it's partially done finished rendering let's take a quick look at it. A little buffering because the uh, meg megapixels that I took these photos at were very high. And the file was pretty large, so that's why it's buffering. Um, but that's there, you can have an idea of how it looks. And you can see it's a little bit shaky. So, what I do a lot of the times for my hyperlapses, almost every time, I like to add a warp stabilizer to it. So, let's go to effects and presets and type in warp stabilizer right here now let's click and drag that over the clip so what that effect does it helps stabilize the footage and that's very important to do with your hyperlapses because a lot of times it's hard to keep the point of interest at the same position every time when you take the picture because the ground might be uneven or over time your arms get tired and it's just a hard thing to keep track of perfectly so what the warp stabilizer does it helps smoothen that out that little shakiness so then also another important thing to keep in mind is to apply this effect in after effects instead of in premiere because when you do it in after effects warp stabilizer is more effective it's more powerful in after effects than in premiere so that's why i like to add it in after effects instead of in premiere so I'm not going to do this whole thing, I'm just doing this for the tutorial. So the next step after it finishes analyzing and rendering, you then to export this clip out, you're going to want to go up to file and go down to export right here and then go to add to render queue. And you're going to see this little thing pop up at the bottom. So then you're going to want to go to where it says output to and you're going to see right here 860 a dot move so and then you want to click that rename the file let's do uh, waterfall hyper lapse my bad hyper lapse let's just put it to the desktop and press save and then after that you're going to want to come over here to the right and press render and then 
give it a little bit of time it's going to render out and export and then put it onto your desktop so then after that when you put it on your desktop and you import it into premiere pro this is how it will look so now that we're in premiere right now and we did other color grading and everything this is how it should come out in its final look with the stabilizing and the color grade this is how it should look nice and smooth see it's not shaky but it's nice clean and flowing perfectly so yeah that's how you create a hyperlapse in after effects so if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way please subscribe and like i will be trying to do a tutorial once a week and thank you for watching